Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Narish Technologies. In today's class, I am explaining about data pump. This data pump is introduced in 10G version. So, and this data pump comes with mainly two tools. One is EXPDP and IMPDP. Okay, this data pump introduced in 10G. And this comes with two tools EXPDP and IMPDP. And what for these tools are used? These tools are mainly used for uh, exporting and importing, means to move the database from one place to another place, one location to another location. Uh, suppose, for example, a database is developed and the database is there in development server. So, one database is developed, it is there in development server. I want to move the database to the production server or I want to move the database to the QA server. So, or I want to move the database from a Windows OS to a Unix OS. So, one platform to another platform and one location to another location. So, we use these tools and before 10G version also these tools are there, but these tool names were EXP and IMP. Okay, before 10G, the tool names were EXP and IMP. From 10G onwards, the tools are changed to EXPDP and IMPDP. But what is the difference means performance? EXPDP, IMPDP gives good performance than EXP, IMP. So, in today's class, we will see how to use these tools. Okay. So, first we will see EXPDP and we will see IMPDP. So, using EXPDP, I can copy the data from Oracle database to dump file. So, database to the dump file. So, if you want to move database from one place to another place, then compressor it should be in a file. So, then easily you can take that file, you can copy that file. So, using this tool, you can copy the data from Oracle database to the dump file. And it is a command line tool, that means it works at command prompt. So, how to use this tool? So, you have to use like this expdp username slash password that means which user is doing this export and import operation, which user is doing this export operation and next directory equal to directory object name, next dump file equals to file name, next here some options, okay. here some options. Now, so username, password and directory equal to directory object name and dump file equals to file name and some options. Like for example, expdp. So, in we will be doing this in uh, we will be doing this export and import is DBA database administrator and the DBA suppose in my system the DBA username is system and password is manager and directory is okay, directory object name. We will discuss this directory object next dump file dump file equals to file name any file name for example abc dot dmp etc next options what are the options means for example suppose i want to copy the full database i want to copy the full database to the dump file then say you you say fully equals to y if you say fully equals to y the full database is copied to the dump file but i don't want to copy the full database to the dump file I want to copy only specific user objects to the dump file. Then what you have to say? Say schemas equals to schemas equal to Scott. If you say schemas equal to Scott, only the user Scott objects are copied to the dump file. So that means using this expdp, you can copy full database, or you can copy a particular schema, or a specific schemas, or a specific tables also. I want to I do not want to copy all the tables of Scott, I want to copy only EMP table and department table, then you can say tables equals to EMP comma department. So, the various options available we can use that options. Okay, then so you specify the username password, you specify the username password and specify the directory object name and dump file name. And next which user objects you want to copy to the dump file. So, not specific user, I want full database, 
say than fully equal to y. Let us see example, but before going to see the example first, first we need to create the directory object, first we will create the directory object then we will see the example. So, what is this directory object is? Directory object is object in oracle database that points to operating system directory. So, it is an object in oracle database that points to operating system directory. Uh, we, we cannot directly access operating system directories here. So, that is why you create one directory object. So, suppose here I will create one directory object. First of all, before creating the directory object, you should have some idea. What is that? Where you want to save this dump file? Where you want to create this dump file? Suppose in this system, in this system there is a D drive, in the D drive, in this there is a D drive, in the D drive there is a folder NIT folder. In NIT folder I want to save this dump file, I want to create the dump file, but where you want to create the dump file? I want to create the dump file in D drive NIT folder. So, then we create a directory object for D colon NIT, but who creates directory object? It is not created by normal user, it is created by DBA. So, I am connecting to DBA system manager connected as DBA then. So, create the directory object, create directory, directory name suppose D 33 as any name, any name you can give. I am giving a directory object name D33 for which operating system directory you want to create the directory object. I want to create this for D colon NIT. So, it is saying directory created. After creating this directory in, in export and import, if you want to use this D colon NIT, instead of, instead of using D colon NIT, we can use this name D33. Okay? In export or import, instead of referring this D colon NIT, we can use this name D33 because D33 is pointing to D colon NIT. Let us go to the command prompt and run this tool expdp. Then, so this is command prompt expdp, expdp and the username is system manager, system manager next directory equals to D33. Just now we created a directory object D33, next dump file equals to file name, file name. So, what is the file name is scott.dmp and schema is equal to scott. Then after executing this command, so a dump file is created, what is the dump file name is scott.dmp, but where this dump file is created, so this is created in D33 and D33 is pointing to D colon NIT, this scott.dmp is also created in D colon NIT. Next and what is copied to this dump file and the objects of Scott are copied to this dump file, okay? then, but not the full database. So, uh, Scott, Scott objects are copied to this dump file. Okay? So, let me execute this command. Okay? See this here. So, this process is completed at the end of this process it is also showing what are the tables exported to the dump file it is showing the list of tables and every each table contains so many rows department, dummy, EMP, sal grade, bonus and all these tables are exported to the dump file. Okay? But uh, where this dump file is created, just check this dump file is created in D drive, D drive in the folder NIT, in the NIT folder dump file is created. So, DMP file, dump file is created. And this is this is log file, and one one more file is created, and what is that file is log file, and this log file contains uh, like export process. Export process is copied to the log file. Okay, the same thing is copied to the log file. You can see this log file. Next, but this dump file is there, but uh, I cannot open this dump file and read the data but it is not for reading purpose, it is for import purpose. You can use this dump file to import the database, but not for reading because it is not a text file. Okay? Then, 
So, I can use this dump file to import the data, but where you import this? You import this in target system like I expected in this system uh, say this is source system uh, you can import this in target system. So, but in target system if the user Scott is there it is uh, imported automatically in the target system if user Scott is not there user Scott is created and imported. So, in target system if Scott is there it is imported if Scott is not there it is created and imported that. So, I do one thing. So, here in my system in the same system I am importing I am exported in this system in the same system I am importing. So, before importing I do one thing I will drop this user Scott I will drop the user Scott and I will import this from dump file. Let us go to DBA and so connect to DBA connect as DBA system manager. So, I am dropping the user Scott drop user user Scott cascade. So, the user Scott is dropped after executing this command the user Scott will be dropped user Scott is dropped let us import it ok that. So, how to import what is the tool used for importing the tool is IMPDP. So, this is the tool that is used to import uh, import data from dump file. So, what this tool will do this will tool this tool will copy the data from dump file to Oracle database. So, the reverse process of export is import. So, database to dump file is export and dump file to database is import. Then how to use this tool the same syntax the command is also same IMPDP username is system manager next year also you say directory object directory object name then next one dump file name. So, what is the dump file equal to? So, just now we created scott.dmp then. So, after executing this command then import starts ok after executing this command import starts. So, what I said if this user scott is there then it simply it imports if the scott is not there then Scott is created and imported ok. Let us let us run this command. So, anyway the user Scott is output let us go to command line tool IMPDP who is doing this system manager is doing this then what is the directory object directory object equal to where is our dump file d colon nit. So, what is the directory object created for d colon nit d 33 then dump file equal to scott dot dmp just run this command that is all ok. Then imported. So, import uh, job is successfully completed ok. Let us go and see this. So, go to again whether scott is created or not just now I drop put the scott then see I am scott tiger. So, I am able to connect ok because who created this Scott Tiger that IMPDP tool is created this Scott Tiger ok. So, if the user is not there user is created and imported you see the tables the tables are imported or not select to start from tab select start from tab. So, the tables are imported. So, this is how to do export and import in Oracle database. So, taking a simple example just exported the objects of Scott and imported the objects of Scott. So, uh, this is what the procedure used in like uh, real time to copy the database from one server to another server ok then. So, thank you, thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe to Narayshati.